Okay, hello. So let's try this example problem that you see uh, on the screen. It's a, it's a challenging one involving zinc blend. Um, let's get into it. So we'll start with a sketch of the zinc blend crystal structure. So it's cubic. And at each of the corners is a sulfur atom and also on each of the faces is a sulfur atom. And what we can do to position the zinc atoms carefully is break it down into eight of these little subcubes and I've drawn in the front bottom left zinc and what I'll do is I'll just shade the other cubes, or subcubes, I mean, that contain a zinc. So there we go, we've got this, get the um, structure drawn quite well there. So let's get into our equation map. The theoretical density is going to be equal to n prime times the sum of the atomic weights of the cations in the formula unit plus the sum of the atomic weights of the anions in the formula of the unit divided by Avogadro's number divided by the volume of the unit cell. Vertical line, what do we have on the right hand side? Well we have that n prime is equal to 4 for zinc blend. There's 4 complete zincs and there's 4 complete sulfurs inside that structure. The sum of the atomic weights of the cations is just equal to the atomic weight of um, of the beryllium and the sum of the atomic weights of the anions that's just the atomic weight of sulfur because there's only one sulfur and one beryllium in each structure so let's just quickly look that up go up to our <coughs> periodic table and we'll see that sulfur is 32.064 32.064 grams per mole and <coughs> beryllium over here 9.0122 and of course we also have Avogadro's number 6.023 times 10 to the 23rd atoms per mole but what we don't yet have is the volume of the unit cell we know that the volume of the unit cell is going to be equal to A cubed, where the lattice parameter is A, but we don't yet have A. So that's what we need to get. And that's where I'm going to return to the sketch. I'm actually going to draw out that front bottom left subcube. And this sulfur atom that I'm just shading in on the front bottom left corresponds to this one. This face centered, front face centered, would be positioned right there. The bottom face centered atom would be this one. And the left side face centered sulfur would be this one right here. And of course, in the center of all that is our zinc atom is connected to or bonded to each of those sulfurs forming the tetrahedral interstitial site. I can also take a closer look at this structure by drawing a vertical line straight down to the base of this unit cell or the base of this subcube and if I actually draw the subcube base out over here, you'll see that that little black triangle that I've just drawn in there would cross over like this, or we could call that length x, the hypotenuse y, and this would be x. So we can actually determine 
the length of x because we know this to be a by 4. If the full length is a, half is a by 2, this is a by 4, as is this height here. So a by 4 squared plus a by 4 squared equals x squared or x equals a by root 8. And then we can also draw that triangle the hypotenuse of y base of x and this opposite side here is again going to be a by 4 so it's halfway up this subcube which has a height of a by 2 so from this we have that x squared plus a by 4 all squared equals y squared substituting in our value for x leads to a squared by 8 plus a squared by 16 equals y squared or y equals root 3 by 4 a and remember what we needed was a right here so we're just going to rewrite that in terms of a so a is equal to 4y over root 3 and we can also go back to our structure here that we drew our sketch and realize that the anion touches the cation along that line y. So that means that y is equal to rc plus ra, where a is equal to 4 rc plus ra all over root 3. So at this point, we've actually completed our equation map, and let me just write it out. We have that the theoretical density for this zinc blend structure is going to be equal to n prime times the sum of the atomic weights of the cations plus the sum of the atomic weights of the anions divided by Avogadro's number <coughs> and divided by a cubed, which is 4 over root 3 rc plus ra all cubed. At this point, we can then do a dimensional analysis. Check our units and see that n prime has got units of number. Atomic weight is grams per mole. Avogadro's number is number per mole. And r has units of meters, which is then all cubed. So the units, in fact, cancel out nicely to leave us with density units of grams per volume cubed, or sorry, per length cubed, which is grams per volume. And then we can solve this, and that will be, density is going to be equal to 4 times 9.0122 plus 32.0122 six four divided by six point oh two three times ten to the twenty third. And while I'm doing this, why don't we see if you can go ahead and calculate it as well? Four over root three and the radius of the anion and the radius of the cation. I actually didn't explicitly draw out, but they're given right here. So there's the cation radius and there's the anion radius.
And then to get the final answer, we'll just have to go over to our trusty um, calculator. And I'll pause for a moment while we calculate that, and I'll let you guys do the calculation. So our final answer is 1.8 times 10 to the 6 grams per meter cubed. Excellent.